In this video, we will demonstrate how to export the payment processing file and how to upload that file into Jonas Club Management. Clubs will have the ability to gather the payments collected within a report by way of the EFT portal seen here, which will provide you with a text file that can be uploaded to your back office system to update your accounting system of all payments and convenience fees received such that payment amounts are applied to the members' receivables and any applicable convenience fees are posted to a Revenue GL account. Upon logging into the EFT website, you will be prompted to enter your email and password. Upon clicking Login, you will be prompted to enter a six-digit code that will be sent to the email address entered in the previous screen. Once you've entered your code, go ahead and click Validate. The report we need for our upload can be found under Reports and Custom Payments Report. All the fields required for the report have already been checked for you, so there is no need to make any edits. The only thing you do need to adjust is when your payments occurred on or after and on or before. You can do a time range if you like, or if you are exporting your custom report every day, we can click on our dropdown select today's date as well as today's date and the text file that we export will only include payments made on that date. From here we can just scroll to the bottom of the screen and all you have to do is click export. That will download the text file for you and if we go ahead and click on that, here's an example of what your text file is going to look like. ACH payments may take three to five days to process depending on your bank. Note that payments will only appear in the text file once they have been processed and will be listed as the date processed, not the date the payment was made. In order to obtain the payment processing file, it must be exported from the EFT website as seen in the previous step. It is recommended to save your processing file, i.e. your text file, in a new folder labeled ETS on your network shared drive. As a note, please ensure that the ETS folder is not created within too many subfolders as it may exceed the folder path character limit when attempting to process the upload. Once the text file is saved in the ETS folder, for example like you've seen here, you're ready to upload that information into the Jonas Club Management System. In order to process that upload, we're going to log into our Jonas Club Management navigate over to Club Management, Processing, Cash Receipts, and Upload Cash Receipt Files. Select the correct company from the drop-down for Merge into Company. If the correct company is already selected, press Enter on your keyboard to open the Cash Receipts Batch window. Within the Cash Receipts Batch window, we're going to go ahead and double-click on Add Another Batch. For the batch number, you can type any number, and for example, you can use the date the payments were made. So for example, we're going to put 10, 30, 18. And you can go ahead and click enter on your keyboard to move to the next field. For the format type, make sure you choose Jonas Standard ETS Online Payments. Next, you can go ahead and select your file by clicking on the folder icon. From here, we're going to go ahead and find our ETS folder and double click on our text file. If your club is utilizing business areas, you'll be able to adjust the business area parameters, including the member balance as of this certain date, by clicking the calendar icon to adjust if needed, and clicking the magnifying glass to choose where you'd like to apply any overpayments to. Then at the bottom of the Upload Cash Receipt Files window, we have our convenience fee posting. Regardless if you are using convenience fees or not, this section does have to be filled out in order to process the upload. If you are not using convenience fees, you can just enter account information and no convenience fees will actually be applied. First, you want to make sure that your source journal is selected on the correct journal. Then we can go ahead and click on GL beside debit. From here, you can go ahead and select your company the GL account that the convenience fees will be applied to, the applicable department, 
and the sub account if applicable. To save your changes, go ahead and click OK. Now just make sure you repeat the same process for credits. Now you might have noticed that this information is already filled out for me. That's because after you've done your first upload, it will actually save the information for your credit and debit GL accounts, as well as the format for the ETS online payment. After you've filled out all your fields, we're going to go ahead and click preview at the bottom of the window. Within the where would you like it printed window, we're going to go ahead and click view. This will provide us with a preview of the member payments and the convenience fee postings. The first few pages will indicate the member payments, and the last page will display the convenience fee posting. Once you've reviewed your preview, we can go ahead and click that X to close out. From here we do have a little prompt asking us what we would like to do. From here we can go ahead and click update to apply the batch. If you did not receive a prompt, you can click update at the bottom of the upload cache receipt files window. So let's click update. We will now again get the where would you like it printed, but this time instead of clicking view, we're going to click right on that print button. Now that we've uploaded that batch into Jonas Club Management, we want to apply that batch over to our member files. So from here, we're going to go to Club Management, Processing, Cache Receipts, and Update of Fast Entry Receipts. Select the correct company from the dropdown, or if the correct company is selected, go ahead and click Enter on your keyboard to open up the Cache Receipts Batch window. Within the Cache Receipts Batch window, we can double click on that batch that we just created. For your preview option, we suggest leaving this at detail as it will allow you to see the member and GL accounts that the batch will be applied to. The date of record will populate with the current date, but this can be changed by clicking on the calendar icon. Lastly is your statement description. This message usually reads, payment received, thank you, but it is recommended to adjust this wording. So we can say, online payment, and thank you, or you can just as you like, because please note there is a character limit for this. Once you've added all your fields, just like we did in the first window, we're going to go ahead and preview before we update. And within our where would you like it printed, we're going to click back on that view button. This preview will display the member payments across your GL accounts. If any changes need to be made before the payments are uploaded to the member accounts, it is recommended to do that first before posting the payments. Once you've reviewed the preview, we're going to go ahead and close out. And if you did receive the prompt, we can go ahead and click post. Or if you didn't receive a prompt, you can click post directly from the update fast entry of cash receipts window. So let's go ahead and click post. In our where would you like it printed, go ahead and click print. And our batch has now been applied to our member accounts. If you do want to double check that the payment has gone through for the member file, we can go ahead and navigate over to Club Management, Member File, and set up Edit Members. From here, go ahead, select your company code, and search for your member. And in Account Inquiry, we can see that our payments have been processed.